I can't imagine anything creepier than exploring an abandoned place and some guy doing this. People of Reddit, what did you laugh at, only to realize it wasn't a joke? I was at a pirate-themed costume party and a woman was dressed as the coin from the first Pirates of the Caribbean. The costume was pretty big, you could only see her head and legs, so I shouted across the room, hey it looks like you have no arms to which she replied that she didn't. I laughed it off thinking she was joking. Nope. She literally had no arms. I've never been more mortified in my life. I once introduced myself to a gentleman who said, my name is X, or you can call me Grey Wolf, and I kinda chuckled, but then kinda instantly realized. Oh, you're part native aren't you? Yup. To be fair however, this was in the space coast of Florida. Monday morning a guy comes up to my desk and says my car is on fire. I respond laughing and saying okay. Guy says, no I am serious. I look out the office window and 10 foot flames shooting out of the hood of my car. Edit, saw people asking about make and model so it was a 1996 Ford Crown Victoria pretty sure there was a lawsuit over it at one point. Tried looking a bit, only one I found was on the gas tank issue for early 2000 models. A story that happened to my buddy. We used to have a weekly pool session. And he was pretty decent as he spent more time at the bars than I did. So he's telling me one day he goes and puts a quarter on the table to challenge the winners. As he's watching the game he's thinking, these guys must be pretty good, they're both playing with just one hand. Finally the girl ends up winning so he walks to the table and racks. Then he says, hey, is it cool if we play with both hands? And she gives him kind of a weird look. That's when he notices that she's only got one arm and the other guy was obviously playing one-handed to keep it fair. I work at a non-profit. My boss needed to fill a position, so he sent me to a job fair to collect some resumes. I found, Kevin, a young guy full of energy and enthusiasm with over a decade of fundraising experience. Me, so, when is Kevin starting? Boss, actually, I hired someone else. Me, haha. Seriously, when is Kevin starting? But it wasn't a joke. Boss hired a dim-witted, sleepy old guy with no discernible skills. I guess he felt they had more in common. Three years later, the old guy got fired for never actually finishing a single project. I was chatting with an elderly security guard at the movies, and he was talking about having a degree he never used. He said, now, I only use it to decorate my bedroom wall. I laughed and he said, you laugh now, I laugh about it sometimes, but I cry most of the time. This happened to me a few days ago. I received a private Facebook message of what I can only call word soup. It was seemingly random, but just barely cohesive enough to make sense at times, like really riding that uncanny valley. I assumed it was some sort of bot that used Markov chains from scraping posts on my friends list because it had references to things, places, and people I knew. Even posted photos from people's albums. So, I screenshotted it and posted it because it was legitimately hilarious. I mean it had such winners as, if you're her love you have to prove all others are inferior to you in bed, with Jill. I was like, hey everyone, check out the weird ramblings of this bot. An hour or so later, I got a message from another friend that explained that this was actually an old mutual friend from high school who had suffered a psychotic break, and was schizophrenic. Sometimes he goes off his meds, or his family doesn't keep an eye on him and he makes tons of Facebook accounts, and messages this crap to people. They'd been getting them for years, and I must have fallen into his crosshairs. Suddenly it wasn't so funny anymore and was rather tragic. I deleted the post and continued to block the next 6 to 7 aliases that kept sending stuff like that all night. Went from hilarious, to sad, to alarming in the span of a few hours. I have a slight hearing problem, which has led to several awkward faux pas situations. The worst one was when I was a cashier at Walgreens. A woman came up to pay and I asked how she was doing and she replied with a sigh and a, oh I just found out. I couldn't hear the second part so I asked her to repeat. 
I still couldn't hear the second part and I didn't want to make her keep repeating, but her delivery sounded like a dry joke so I just politely laughed. She gave me the dirtiest look and said, what's so funny about my husband having cancer? I definitely heard her that time. I used to have lunch with this guy the first worked with. We became really good friends. All of a sudden he stopped coming to my office. I asked him why, and he told me it was, because I think you have a crush on me and you make me very uncomfortable. I am also a guy who is 12 years younger than him. He is very ugly and has cerebral palsy. I laughed then I realized he was serious. He has an extremely jealous wife who put all these weird thoughts in his head. As soon as I realized he wasn't joking I said, do you realize how ugly you are? I was in shock and it just came out. I felt really bad. I was pretty ignorant in high school, and our friend group was one that would bust each other all the time without many boundaries. A friend was telling us about how his father died of breast cancer at the lunch table. I thought he was messing with me so I kept laughing, telling him to quit his bullcrap. Me being a dumb teenager assumed only women could get breast cancer, and just rolled my eyes when he kept saying it was true. This proceeded for the entire lunch period. It wasn't until after lunch period was over and someone else came up to me, and confirmed the fact that I realized what a gigantic asshole I had just been. Okay, so I was at my best friend's high school grad party at his house, and he invited some of his other friends not from our school to come too. I always goofed around in high school, and today felt like any other day. This kid, who was nicknamed Beaties, and I were getting along fine when I noticed some type of string hanging from his waist belt. I couldn't really make out what it was so I assumed it was a tag to his clothes or something similar. Being an immature, unaware high schooler, I thought nothing of the context of where we were, or thinking anything would be inappropriate for me to crack a remark or joke. I took his string and started tugging on it and even asked, lol what is this, your stupid inflatable pants? He looked down and didn't give the reaction I was hoping. He turned and said, no, jackass, it's actually my insulin pump. Which is where I found out his name wasn't Beaties, it was Bet. You know, short for diabetes. A young lady in the choir who had beautiful dark hair, lustrous, long Italian, arrived at rehearsal as a blonde, thanks to this really fake looking wig she had on over her natural hair. It screamed, fake wig, and looked like she was trying to be funny, just to bring a little light humor to rehearsal. One of the tenors asked, did you get that wig from Sears? She said, actually, yes, at which point everyone laughed. Turns out it was really true, she did get the wig from Sears. And she thought it looked great, whereas everyone else thought it looked so unnatural, and wrong on her. I was a preteen at Bible camp, and one of the leaders was sharing the story of his upbringing. It got really intense, and he ended that intense part of the story with, and now my brother is an alcoholic. His tone and the timing was rather comedic, and I thought he was doing that to break some tension, and without thinking anything else of it, I let out a huge, organic, ha. Everyone turned to look at me. I tried to fake a coughing fit to play it off. Don't think it was very convincing. Going to middle school and needing to make a phone call home, before I had a cell phone, from the office, the secretary said, it'll cost you 50 cents. I laughed. She didn't. That was the moment I realized that despite being a good kid, adults suddenly wouldn't like or trust me simply because I was in middle school. It was jarring. An event which I watched live, where a video game streamer named Vinny is exploring a long-abandoned MMO from the 90s named Active Worlds. The game was similar to Second Life, in that you could make custom worlds to roleplay in. Vinny was exploring some medieval goblin village, talking about how sad it was to see months of hard work left to rot because it's only virtual. Suddenly, he's approached by a stranger who speaks only in character. The man can open gates that only moderators are able to open, he seems to know his way around town, and would often repeat phrases, or completely ignore what Vinny was typing. Vinny spent most of the video screwing around with the NPC, eventually getting into the RP as a joke. 
It's only at the end of the video that the man utters the phrase, Vinny, and disconnects. This wasn't just a fan, this was an old moderator of the server who had gotten word that a popular streamer was checking it out decades later. I can't imagine anything creepier than exploring an abandoned place and some guy doing this. Like and subscribe, for more funny, interesting, and scary r slash ask reddit videos.